see. Valera versus Second, no like fury and stream donations until you can I must game. protect the world. Watch wow. your back. Okay. Spiteful Smith has actually been really good this run, but uh, too soon. Probably too soon for Eviscerate too. I think I want more minions. Ooh, the combo. Turn three, flood sail. Plus shady, I think. is just gonna heal power again. It's probably like, oh, I want this guy to play the first minion. Fine, I'll play the first minion. Oh, I see just gonna play a solid three drop. Something needs tinkering? Okay. Yeah, I guess that works, doesn't it? Here we go. I goblin auto barber for a four damage one. Maybe I just play two uh, one drops. So many options. Hmm. Turn four hero power. Eh, I kind of like the sound of that. Come on, dump four mana to kill a one drop. It kind of has to. One shot, one So that said, it did slow him down. And he can't kill that off. Which is kind of what I'm doing. Want to eat it? Dodge the swipe, hopefully. Hmm. Dingo. Yes. Interesting. Here uh, we go. Go ahead. I can't do that. It's a deal. Go best. I don't want to get the max value of the auto barber since I don't have a ton of cards. Play that if he didn't have any. Sap, maybe? Suck, steal, swine. Suck, suck, steal. Here we go. Deal. That should be pretty good. Jungle Moonkin. I wonder if he wanted to set something greedy up, like a swipe or a sun. Not Moonfire. Uh, Sunfire? What am I talking about? The AoE. Um, that is really good for him. <laughs> wow, this is bad. Also, here we go. That was so sad. It's like, skip your turn after drawing three cards. Jeez. Where shall I start? 
Mind if I roll need? Ah, this guy's toes. <laughs> I guess. What lurks? Hey, lights out. Tempo. Okay. Pretty good. This deck is pretty good. Valera versus Uther. I will fight with honor. Watch your back. Azerfin Hunter, Questing Adventurer, Dragonkin Sorcerer. I'll keep it for use, I guess. Hopefully it's not too slow. I think it may have been a mistake to keep the threes. Sure, not. probably. It's getting hot in here. Okay. Here we go. Into what? of the nightmare is fairly aggressive and I did not want to see that. At least I have a blood cell for his true silver. That's pretty good. Oh. Strathol will be purged. Okay, I'm not gonna care that, thanks. Okay, is that any better? Let me see. There, I turned the audio of the game down a bit too. Hmm. Could I? Three three into four three, two one into two two. Two one and by what doing Shiv? Give me a quest. <laughs> Blood sail too good. Three one Murloc into pure. Fa oh yeah, you're right. That was a mistake. Holy crap! This guy is aggressive. Gh.
Silverback Fate Shrek. <sighs> Those are all terrible. I wonder if he'll trade. He's kind of obligated to, unless he has consecration. Okay. Yeah, thought about the taunt. My shield for Argus. Wow, that is so greedy. Give me a quest. So I guess if I do that... Quest accepted. He still has two cards in this deck. I'm almost out of but I cards. also have the board. I don't think he can do 10 damage. Yeah, but then I would have had to play off curve too. Give me a quest. What you want? Reporting for duty. Quest accepted. It's a deal. Okay. Unless he has a quality consecration, he loses the game. Should I have played around that? Probably not. I mean, he already discarded one of his equalities. Uh, I could get racked here, actually. Okay, Joe and Yeti. That's not gonna do it. None may steal us. Cool. Do I have lethal? 8, 10, 12, 13, 14. Nope. It's a deal. <laughs> Sure, Leroy Jenkins, I guess, too. Theoretically. The victory is yours. Kinda scary. Leave it to the Paladins to play the cheesiest decks possible. I don't even remember the last time I saw a Paladin try to play honestly in Arena. It's always buff Paladin or some cheesy aggro crap like that. Face Paladin. Blessing a King's Paladin. Valir versus Thrall. For Doomhammer. Or a really bad Secrets One Paladin. Back. That synergy is not going to happen. That's too slow. Gilbin is fine. Totem. Hmm. I guess I have to kill that.
Yeah, from the looks of things, um, more of a mid range of control shaman seems pretty good. All the Wind Fury cards. How greedy can a guy get? Storm, hopefully. Shaman really needed the new uh, legendary. I think his name's Halazil. Just for that healing. Oh, come on. The one card. Okay. At least you didn't get lucky. Without that lucky anyway. That's a good card. Yeah. Bend to my brother. I don't really see why Face Shaman would be that great. Here we go. I don't think you beat Face Shaman by playing Antique Heal Bot to begin with. You just had to take control of the board early and then play a taunt. Overtime. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's even better. Give me a quest. Here we go. Here, are you kidding me? Light protects me? Mm, that's unfortunate. Ha, this guy's Here tough. we go. Accepted. Uh, I'll take the chance. Hey, 
Lights out. Here we oh, go. go. I don't think taking risks in this game was correct because he's obviously drafting a very aggressive deck. So I think based off of top decks and having a better hero power, I can just outvalue him. Here we go. What a deal. Because, I mean, what does a shaman's hero power really do? Heal for two? That's unfortunate. Suck steel swipe. Here we go. I think if he was smart there, he would have actually gone face. Hold on, let me figure that out. He kills the 4-3. Oh, I guess I would have had Leith. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, no worries. Here we go. Do I play it? I guess the odds of drawing that instead of Ancient Curse is... Uh, more likely he gets the taunt than I draw Ancient Curse. But yeah, I'm getting some pretty bad jaws. <laughs> okay, do I get lucky in one? I guess so. Unless I draw Ancient Curse. I wonder if he sees that out. If you're, yeah, if you're smart, you just go face and hope for the curse. Does he get lucky? If you want to, you're in the shot. Yeah. Valera versus Leandrin. My hammer burns with holy fire. Watch Ow, your chopped. back. Huh? I'm out. Yeah. Okay. No, wait, no, you're not. <laughs> Oops, widescreen. That's fine, you can stay there. Um, okay. Goblin Auto Barber Burly Rock Jaw Trog. Questing Adventure. Jackanade Crusher. Questing Adventure is only really good if he's super greedy. But many players have been playing super greedy. I think Rockjaw Trog is probably better here than questing. And then again, I am on the coin. Okay, I'll keep questing. Why did you get a couple wins with the Curse Blade? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I misread that. It's pretty bad. That's true. Oh, pit snake. I wouldn't say it's unplayable. Sometimes you get lucky with Cursed Blade, but like only on turn one. Unless you want to take extra damage. Reporting for duty. Really? I'm surprised he'd make that play. Here we go. I am a rogue after all. Maybe he didn't have a two drop. Is he gonna is he gonna wait till true silver's there? That would be funny. Oh, 
Oh, well, yeah. That would be good. Hmm. If he had Master, he would have played it by now, though. I guess I'll just get maximum go. value out of that then. Oh. Kinda hope he plays true silver. To kill a 1 1, I mean a 2 1, and then lose it to a blood sale corsair. That would be the dream. I feel like he really doesn't want to lose anything to the spit snake, Put though. Apple on your head. Oh, that's greedy. He might get Reporting rewarded for, for it. No. no, nah, sucks to be. Actually, uh... Do I have a way to deal one damage to that? Let me see here. I'm not gonna do Goblin Auto Barber into Flame Juggler. That's much too much of a dream scenario, isn't it? Well, maybe I should actually. I wonder. It's not bad. Okay. Here I'll do we it. Go. Yeah. Oh well. The real value of the Pit Snake is that it denied him about four turns of making real plays. Maybe he has Consecration, though. Okay. Drink with me, friend. Okay. And then a uh, four health, three drop. Eyes are open. Something like that. I guess I actually play spiteful smith. Here we go. <laughs> I think it's better than uh, using up the Eviscerate right now. Because if I can get Dagger value out of the Spiteful Smith, that's super good. I didn't get a lot of tempo out of using the uh, Pit Snake, but he didn't either. And my hand was pretty bad overall at the start, I think. Is he gonna go face with that? Oh, he forgot to attack with it. Okay, I guess I'll just quest. do this then. It, he kills it. I'll just bless him. Eh. Keeper of Old Man wouldn't even be that good against a questing adventurer because they can always give it more stats again. But yeah, maybe he does. More afraid of True Silver. Wow, such a greedy player. Reporting for duty. <laughs> Maybe I can get another Phantom Eyes here. Be 
beneath the ground. Interesting. I guess I'll play that, probably. I wonder. Hmm. Kind of want to be careful about all ending here. Then again, if I do it and he doesn't have an answer, then he just loses, and he would have done something next last turn. Hmm. Okay. Give me a quest. Here we go. Limitless. Quest accepted. Maybe that's too aggressive, but. If he doesn't have a quality consecration, he basically loses. Odds of him having it, like 1 in 100. I think taking like a 95% chance to win is definitely worth it. Hmm. Just stop him from being able to draw more cards. If he had it, he would have played it by now. Unless he's like slow rolling. Some people do that. Okay. Should I? Hmm. Hmm. Don't blame him. <laughs> quest accept, quest accept. Questing Adventure can seriously be a ridiculously good card. Sometimes. Okay, total dominance, cool, good quest. So what are you gonna do? Um rest of today. <laughs> okay. Oops, ouch. Valera versus Valera. Watch your back. I mm -hmm. always do. <laughs> huh? One. <laughs> oh, that's not the name. Um. Flame juggler, goblin, auto barber, chef. I think you get rid of this out. Shiv is not great. I don't think it's really worth keeping. No, it's much better to just cycle it for another card right now. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. Pit Snake doesn't work. This is actually the issue I was talking about at the start when I was drafting. If uh, every class you go up against in the late arena is rogue or mage, they're just going to ping your stuff off. I guess I know it. Here we go. 
think he might be drafting pirates. That works out well for me. I guess I just make him play the pit snake on turn four. Then he has to kind of trade into it with his dagger. Yep. Instant dagger up. Is that his whole turn though? If it is, then I'm happy. If not, ooh, nice. That's what I wanted to see. Blackwing technician. Imp master's actually good here. I'll hold the dagger just in case I need one extra point of damage. Hopefully, I get maximum imp value here. For the Lich King. Okay. Yeah, that's not great. Okay, yeah, that's a good draw. Maybe I can get the Draconid Crusher out this turn. That might be what I need to win this game. So many options. Hmm. That's the answer, huh? Okay. I guess I just played as a six six. Uh, no, I can do four damage, so I'm played as a nine nine. Here we go. Four six was a big issue for him, so a nine nine should be pretty much impossible unless he has sap. Okay. If only I could play more than that. Maybe that's still good. I think that's still the best play. What works? Here we go. Form of spire. Okay, let's see. Hmm. He don't have any answers, so unless he has Okay, that'll do it, I guess. Really? He hits that one instead? Oh wait, okay. It looked like he was hitting the 4-4 four four for some reason. Okay, so the good thing is Fan and Ives is good here. Here we go. Oh, could have shift actually. This. What else did he have? Another one? Really? Wow. Wow. That's a lot of charge minions. Ooh. Frigid Snowball. I knew that spell damage would be good at some point in time. Cool, cool. 